when we talk about the disruption uh, that wreaks havoc on lives when people have even the shortest jail stays, um, we also need to talk about the fact that um, the system is not working in terms of encouraging people to not commit offenses in the future. Like the research shows that even spending one night in jail makes it much more likely that you will spend future nights in jail. So that say basically being in jail begets more jail time. This is one of the reasons why it is so important that we be more thoughtful about who is in jail and why, and that we can be smarter about finding ways to protect public safety that do not include warehousing people. This has a tremendous economic impact because people in jail are not contributing to our economy. They are not consuming, they are not producing, they are not coming up with ideas and then bringing those ideas into the world. This is something that we have to stop doing so that we can actually unlock everyone's full potential. The economic question always depends on how wide your lens is, right? I mean, so, um, and, and, and by the way, throwing more and more money at the, the jail system has not made that system produce better results. It has not made our community safer. And what other government program do um, conservatives say, oh, it's not really working, let's throw more money at it. That's not, that, that's not usually how we do business, right? So this is an issue about which our, we, we have, it, values drive these decisions and now evidence drives these decisions. But you're right, when you think about the money we're spending, um, if you're not spending it on in car, in jailing people who don't need to be there and in fact um, are not contributing when they are there, you're probably gonna free up money for um, things that might actually make our community safer, might make them healthier, might make our businesses more able to um, have employees who can come to work.